Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the mindset, the mindset, the mindset shift that I had when I decided to lose weight and I was actually successful. I'm going to be talking about and going into detail about my mindset, my, oh my days, I did it again, mindset shift mindset shift that I had when I actually decided to lose weight and I was actually successful. So I started my weight loss journey in January 2020 and I lost 120 pounds and I was actually successful on that journey. I've been able to maintain, keep it off. It's been obviously a good few years now, but I did actually try losing weight so many times before then and I wasn't successful. So one of the questions I get asked quite a lot is what was different this time? What actually made me successful this time? And I genuinely believe it was all about the mindset. So that's what I want to make today's video about, go into detail about what I was different with my mindset, the time that was actually successful when I decided to lose weight. So that for those of you that want to lose weight, that just don't feel like you can figure it out. You know exactly what to do to lose weight. You've got all the tools and stuff and you just can't figure out why you keep failing and not being able to lose the weight and keep it off. So hopefully this video will help you finally get into the right mindset so that you can lose the weight and keep it off forever. And also for those of us that has lost weight or is in the middle of losing weight, it's a good reminder because I feel like even during maintenance, you have to keep reminding yourself to keep this mindset, if that makes sense. Like you've got to stay on track with this mindset. And the reason why I've thought of even doing this video today is because I've not been missing out on that mindset recently, but like I've been kind of a bit meh, you know what I mean? Like I've been a meh not really as motivated and stuff which is normal it happens like in your weight loss journey and your especially when you're maintaining and stuff and you've not really got a goal to work towards that is normal but it's important to kind of remind yourself of this mindset and kind of get yourself back into this mindset so you can keep pushing because losing the weight is only half of the task maintaining it is like the bigger part so you've got to keep reminding yourself to continue to have this mindset throughout maintenance as well. So that's what today's video is. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Join the family here on YouTube. We would love to have you. I make loads and loads of videos to do with weight loss, fitness, health, muscle building, body composition, mindset, lifestyle. I do what I eat in a day videos. I do so many videos basically. I mostly do two videos a week. So if you don't wanna miss out on any of them videos, make sure that you've clicked the bell button as well as obviously being subscribed. So you get a notification every time I upload. Okay, so like I mentioned, I did try to lose weight so many times before I actually was successful. And I did so many different diets. I did like Slim Fast, I did Slim and Wild. I tried, I say I tried intermittent fasting, whatever I tried anyway, yeah. Uh, oh no, I tried, what was it? The Atkins diet or whatever one you just eat meat. Yeah, I tried that one. I've, I've tried like loads of different things. I tried taking diet pills. I tried, I literally tried pretty much all the diets out there and I never was able to, and even calorie counting as well. And I was never able to actually get past a couple of days, if not a week at the longest, two weeks. Slimming World, I did do for a couple of months, but then I ended up giving up on that as well. And I noticed that my mindset was always coming from a place of lack, if that makes sense. Like, I wanted to lose weight. I was sick and tired of how I felt. I was like, I don't want to feel like this anymore. But my mindset was still, oh, I have to lose weight. And it was a negative thought of, I've got to give up this. I've got to give up this. And I've got to exercise. And I don't want to exercise. And I've got to do this. And it was coming from like a place of a negative mindset that I will have to give up certain things and like foods and it was just quite a negative way of thinking like oh I've got to do this and then I would always think okay once I've lost the weight like that's that I don't have to worry about that anymore and then when I eventually hit to the point where I started my weight loss journey that was actually successful the journey I'm on now I my mindset was I'm so sick and tired of the way I feel the way I'm eating is making me feel like this and it's put me in this position. I don't want to, I genuinely got to the point where I was like, I don't want to eat like this anymore. I want to eat healthier. I want to feel good in myself. And I know that whatever I do to lose weight is, go, is how I'm going to keep it off. And that therefore, the way I lose weight isn't going to be a diet, it's going to be a new lifestyle, like a new lifestyle change. So when I started my journey, I didn't, start by trying to find a diet that would help me lose weight the fastest or the easiest way. 
or with the mindset of, okay, once the diet is over and I've lost the weight, then the diet is over and I can go back to like normal. And I also didn't come from a place of, oh, I have to exercise and I have to eat healthy. It was a like more of like, I want to, because I want to feel good. And throughout my journey, the mindset has always been, I get to exercise. Like I feel good because once I started eating healthier and I started exercising, I started feeling so much better. And I realized that the foods that I was eating, which was mostly like takeaways, processed foods, highly saturated fat, like I didn't really eat fruits and vegetables. I weren't exercising, I weren't moving. So I realized that the way I was eating and moving was making me feel worse in myself. Like I felt more tired. I didn't have a lot of energy. I felt grumpy. I felt depressed. Like there was all of the way I was, if that makes sense, was making me feel so negative. So then when I started eating healthier and eating lots of fruits and vegetables, losing weight and exercising, I started to feel so much more positive, so much more lighter. Obviously, physically lighter because obviously I was losing weight but like mentally as well and like it just felt like I've I was feeling so much more positive so I started to associate eating healthy and exercising with positive emotions and feeling good about myself so the mindset throughout my weight loss was I get to do this like I want to do it because it makes me feel good rather than I have to do it to lose weight and then I can't wait until it's over do you know what I mean so it's just that small little mindset change where you change it to a more positive, like you view the weight loss as a positive thing, not just the weight loss itself, but the habits that you create in order to lose weight are lifelong and positive for you. So if you view it in a positive way and you change your mindset from, oh, I have to do this and I don't really want to, or I'm going to miss out on all of these foods, instead of thinking about all the foods you're gonna miss out on, think about adding foods and like fruits, vegetables, adding things into your lifestyle like exercise, adding in a walk every day, adding in like a few weight training sessions, like start learning a new skill or like um, a spin class or some kind of form of cardio you enjoy. Find something that you enjoy and incorporate and add that into your lifestyle rather than thinking about everything you're going to be taking away from your life, if that makes sense. Don't focus on the negative things and just change it to positive. Like you're doing this to be healthier and feel good. And that whole mindset change has really helped me actually be successful because I don't view it as something that has an end date or is like I have to do, if that makes sense, because if I don't, then I won't lose weight. It was more like, yeah, obviously I know that that will help me lose weight and stuff, but it wasn't like, okay, once I've lost the weight, I'm going to go back to, to the way I was before or feeling like I was missing out on anything because I still allowed myself to have takeaways or chocolate or anything that like you would normally not be able to have on a diet if that makes sense like I've still told myself I can if I really want to as long as I fit it in my calories but I also told myself they don't really make me feel good like in my body like my body doesn't feel the best if I'm only eating that there's nothing wrong with eating it in, in moderation but only eating those foods and not like giving your body the nutrition that it needs and the movement that it needs and burning off the energy holding so much extra body fat that makes you feel heavy bloated it literally like just holds you back. I did feel like when I was bigger, I just felt like everything was so much harder. The whole mindset shift is to basically make weight loss and the habits that you are going to incorporate into your life a positive incorporation rather than having the negative mindset of I have to miss out on this. I'm not going to be able to do this or like, do you know what I mean? Like that negative side, because once you start feeling negative about something, you don't want to do it. And there's only so long that you can stay motivated for to make yourself do something that you don't really want to do. Of course, there's going to be days where you feel tired and you feel extra hungry maybe and you don't want to go to the gym or you would like to order a takeaway. There's going to be days like that. You're not going to have like 100% of the time where it's always going to feel positive. But as long as you have that mindset, you can counteract those kind of negative days if that makes sense or those moments with but if I do go to the gym even if I don't train as hard or I only complete half a session I'm going to feel so much better than if I don't go and that's the the mindset that's going to get you to lose weight and actually keep it off that's the mindset change that I had and I do feel like I've seen 
other people that have been successful in weight, losing weight and they are also very positive. They view weight loss and the, the healthy lifestyle as a very positive thing and they view exercise as positive and eating healthy as very positive. They don't view it as like, oh, I have to eat this salad rather than eating this. Like, do you know what I mean? It's the, the whole switch of that. So to start getting yourself into that mindset, you just have to tell yourself that I'm doing this because I'm going to feel good. I'm eating these foods because they make me feel good. So just think about how you feel after you've eaten, like for a week, say, quite healthily, adding in loads of fruits and vegetables, hitting your protein, you've gone out for your walks, you've done some cardio, maybe you've lifted some weights. How do you feel at the end of that week in yourself, in your body, rather than a whole week of eating purely like takeaways, overeating, and not really moving. Say you sat on the sofa and all you're eating is chocolates, cakes, biscuits, pizza, I can't even think of something else, chicken, chicken and chips, I don't know, yeah. How do you feel at the end of that week versus the end of a week of like, you know, eating quite healthy? And you can also have a donut, say, on Wednesday, on Friday, or a pizza, and you can even make the healthier alternative swaps as well. So you're still not missing out, you're not missing out on it, but you're adding it in moderation, but still fueling your body properly with the right nutrition and moving your body properly, that at the end of the week, you're going to feel so much better inside yourself and so much more positive. So if you have that mindset and you like keep telling yourself that, that's the mindset. My, oh my, why do I keep saying mindset? I really don't understand. <laughs> mindset shift that will help you be successful on your weight loss journey. And even when you have made, like lost the weight and you're maintaining, it's important to remind yourself of that, especially when you do have days where you are feeling a bit like down and I don't know, you don't really feel like doing it. Reminding yourself of those things is what's going to keep you going and keep you pushing and keep like basically you on track. So I hope this video helps. I hope you're able to shift into that mindset. It really is just about keep affirming it to yourself, keep telling yourself, and then by doing and then thinking about it and feeling how you feel after each of those things and reflecting on maybe a day where you have overeaten, how you, how that makes your body feel. I genuinely do believe that that was the difference between me being unsuccessful in previous weight loss like attempts and this weight loss attempt that was actually successful has been all in the mindset. I feel like it starts with the mind and then what's in the mind will like you know, come out, it's a reality, you know what I mean, it all starts with the mind basically, that's what, that's the whole point, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, if you did, please be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing, click the bell button, all of that fun stuff, it literally takes one second, you might as well just do it, if you like the video, I appreciate it, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video, thank you, bye!